When you're claiming asylum, you're saying that you have fled your country. It is not safe for you to go back and you're asking the government of the country you are in to provide you with protection, the right to stay in that country. Your asylum claim will be considered under the Refugee Convention, usually translated into the immigration laws of the country you are in. To be granted asylum, meaning to be recognised as a refugee, it is necessary to show that you have a well-founded fear of persecution. Persecution is a serious targeted mistreatment of you as an individual because of who you are, or what you do, or what you believe, or what people think you are, think you do, or think you believe. You don't have to show that this will definitely happen to you, but that there is a real risk it will happen. This is what a well-founded fear means. You also need to prove that there is a risk that something will happen to you in the future, not just that bad things have happened to you in the past. For your asylum claim to come under the Refugee Convention, you need to show that the persecution you fear is for reasons of race, religion, nationality, political opinion or membership of a particular social group. Particular social group can cover quite a lot of different situations, including asylum claims based on sexuality. You will also need to show that you cannot get protection in your country of origin or the country where you normally live. If it is the government of the country you fear, it is clear why you cannot ask for protection. If you are in fear of your family or community members, however, you would need to prove that the authorities in your country cannot or will not protect you. The decision makers considering your asylum claim may also try to say that even if you are in danger in your hometown, city or region, there might be another part of your country where you could live and feel safe. In order to be recognised as a refugee, you will have to prove that you would not be safe anywhere in your country or that you could not survive in another part of your country because you wouldn't be able to work or wouldn't have anywhere to live, for example. Persecution is about danger to you as an individual. If you are fleeing war or violence that affects many people, not you specifically, but everyone in your town or region, just by being in that place, you may qualify for a different kind of protection. In the UK, people who can prove that they are in danger of persecution as an individual usually qualify for refugee status. If you can prove you are in danger from a serious and individual threat from indiscriminate violence in situations of international or internal armed conflict, you may qualify for humanitarian protection. There are situations where someone could arguably qualify for either of these. For example, in Syria, some people are in danger from indiscriminate violence and targeted persecution. In order to prove that a fear of persecution is well founded, i.e. is likely, you will need to provide evidence. The evidence that everyone has is their story. What has happened to you? What have you been threatened with? What has happened to your family, colleagues or other people you know? Why did you leave? Why can't you go back? In many cases, the decision makers do not believe you when you tell your story. You need to think about what other evidence you can get to prove what you're saying happened is true and what you think could happen to you is likely. Are there witnesses to things that happened to you? Have you got documents that prove any part of your story? These might include medical records, arrest warrants, court documents, letters from friends or organisations showing you're in danger. Is there newspaper coverage of an event you're talking about? Are there human rights reports that show the situation in your country is like you say it is? Do you have any evidence that can prove your identity, including your nationality? It can take time to get this evidence, so it's important to start thinking about it as soon as possible. It's very difficult to be told by a decision maker that they do not believe you. It's important to be prepared for this and to have people around you to support you through the process of seeking asylum.